Number 22, Horse Gym with Boots. We're going to look at rope relaxation. Here we have Boots parked on a mat. She's not standing square, but she's alert and relaxed, just how we'd like her to be parked if we want to start doing other things with her standing still. It's really helpful for the horse when we take the time to get it used to rope draped all over its body. You never know when the rope might come loose out of your hand or where it might touch the horse's body. You want them to be really calm about a rope being twirled in their vicinity so that ropes doing odd things are never a surprise for the horse. So with a horse new to this we could begin with just one little toss and a click and a treat. Followed by another toss and a click and a treat. And we just gradually drape that rope gently over different parts of the body. And once one toss and a click and a treat is good, we can go for two tosses and a click and a treat. And we would gradually go for two tosses in every region of the body. So that was two near the withers there. And it's never a rush, just we have to keep our own energy really calm and cool. Two tosses over the rump. The horse will read into our energy and then gradually we can do other parts of the body. Always starting with one toss in a new spot, going to two tosses and so on. Here are Bridget and Smokey doing the same thing. Notice Bridget's low body energy and how she stays safe near the horse's shoulder when she tosses a rope around behind. Now this is helpful if we have to tie up. The horse might well get the rope over his neck, so it's good if he's confident with that sort of a feeling and uh, not worried about the energy in front of him because, again, he's reading how low-key Bridget's body energy is as she does this. And you'll want to toss your reins over your horse's head and you don't want him to startle at that action of your hand and your arm. So this is a really good exercise just to get them totally relaxed with a rope doing strange things. Now there's nothing more fun than starting something at liberty, so we thought, well, let's just get see how it is to get a horse used to dragging ropes in case they ever pull the rope out of our hand and take off with it dragging behind them. So just for a bit of fun, we added on this white container and Smokey is targeting the container and getting a click and a treat for the interest he shows in it. We, this activity took us probably about 12-15 minutes and I've cut most of it out and left the interesting bits in. Now we want him eventually to not necessarily need to target it but to be totally calm about the rope dragging along. And then he got a bit of a second wind and his interest came up again and he's starting to make it into a game himself. You can see with his head tossing, he's seeing it as an interesting thing that he can take part in rather than something to worry about. It didn't take him too long to say, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I can cope with that. Remember, I just left in the interesting bits. There was a lot of walking around without m much happening. But once his horse, the horse is confident, you can drag the rope along with you. Not attached to him, of course. And you can see how he's still watching it carefully, watching where that white thing is. And now he's trying to get his adrenaline down. That's a bit of a displacement activity he does. You can see he's much calmer walking along is not quite so worried. But look what happens here when we go from the grass surface to the sand surface. Horses are so sensitive he immediately says, Whoa, what's that? So Bridget went back to square one and got him to target it and follow it until he was used to the sand surface noise.